What's going on guys, it's me, BunchBot21, welcome to another episode of Clash of Clans. It's been about three weeks or something since we've done the last one, I apologise about this, and this might be uploaded the day after um, a Fortnite video of Zoe the Outfit, if I'm quite old uniform, however you guys want to say it, so yeah, that'd be a call. So in today's episode, guys, I'm going to promise you this, um, the last time episode of Clash, where we will do some attacks with these maxed out uh, troops known as the Boxer Giants, um, the, the Bomber, it's not called the Warbreak, it's just called the Bomber, I've said that mistakes a few times, and the Cannon Car, so that's amazing. You can see I've maxed out everything now, so they've got max stats or damage and hit points and also the Kami's army camp size is incredible so for the box giant you can hold four and that's eight that we've got in total then we can have five bombers so that's in one army camp and then we can have three cannon cards and that's nine in total which is absolutely incredible and also i've got clock tower boost um active as well so that's gonna be absolutely amazing for 10 minutes but then after the 10 minutes, we'll see how much we've done. I'm not too sure else what we can do. But we'll say though, we've also got some more stuff as well to show you. So we'll do have the bow machine at level 17 as well, because I am trying to do some level up as well. All I've really done at the moment this game is just been upgrading whatever in the style laboratory and the walls and also some defenses as well. So I'm thinking of upgrading my um, Mega Tesla again to progress it more. Uh, I'm not sure what else I really want to try and upgrade again. Because, uh, pardon me, um, I'm probably going to try and do. And I'll just have it then it takes a while or something same with the roaster. But if I get someone that takes like whatever days, I'll use it on this, spend skip the full days with the um it's a magical item in the shop which we'll try and use anyway. So thumbs up to that, that'll be amazing. And before we begin off, I wanna say I apologize again of some stuff that's been going on, less clash because of how long this is going to be. Um, what we're finishing off at the moment is Voodoo Vince, which I hope will be done between Monday to Friday in the UK time at the time it's recording, so I expect that. Uh, we've got Fortnite videos, we've got Save the World Fortnite, we just live streaming soon. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, the Black Ops 4 beta um, live streams or whenever that's going to come out. And um, what else are we doing? Portal, bridge construction portal as well, but let's chit chat, let's do this. So we'll activate the boost and then we might check the attacks afterwards or do some more if I feel like it anyway. So that's what we're going to do. So obviously we're going to attack from the bottom, why not? So yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to scan up the cannon carts and then I'll place some of the bombers and start to send off some of the box of giants in. So like this. So that'll be perfect. By the way, these um, cannon carts will do a lot of damage and I mean stupid amount of damage. I'm not even joking. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do with the bomber. So if we just place the rest in there, that will support it. I've got to send in the cannon cart at the same time apparently as well, according to the recording, just to support my own troops a bit more. You can see how much monstrous this is because of the cannon cart damage and also the boxer giants trying to take the damage there. But it doesn't seem like at the moment, so I'm a bit worried about that. I'm um, just going to back up. Some of these cannon carts really don't focus properly, I'm not even going to lie, so it's a bit sad to see, but yeah, I'm going to finish it off around here and stuff like that, so yeah, at least we got um, ourselves, a, we're talking now, oh, we've got two stars now, two stars, that's absolutely brilliant, we're going to continue off and just wait here and see, so it seems like the wall breakers are just chipping around, because I know they're going to do around, the left side should be fine, Only I think it's only going to be able to take that out, it'll be amazing if we can go up top, but for this side it might not look too good anyway, I'm not too sure, um, yeah, the wall break is going for the actual thing. This is good. And we've just got these two wall breakers just doing it at the moment. I've just realised as well. I hope I've um, managed to unable the sound, actually. I've just realised as well. And also, um, speaking of which, you might not see a Clash Clans video or video on my iPad at the moment. Because I really have no idea what else to prepare on this. Because I'm thinking of doing another one when I get some high-level max troops or some more stuff like that. So I'm thinking of doing another one with the level 20 battle machine. That's what I'm thinking of doing it when. So I do expect that video, but that might be a while anyway. Plus there are some other stuff I do want to show you guys now. I've completely forgotten what we had. We had two stars over 60%, I think. But this guy's using sneaky archers at level 16. And actually, you know what? I might actually do a video on that. But I'm also upgrading my Rage by Bones, actually. So you might see another video of that, actually. I'm not too sure, really. I can't remember what percent we had anyway, I know it was over 60, but I feel like this opponent's got it now, because now it's 70. So I remember the tens, not the unit, units, the zero you see right there, the tens. What is it called? I can't remember my maths. It's been, it's, it was a very long time ago. I did maths like three years ago in school, even though I never really enjoyed school, but oh well. Uh, let me see, return to home. No, we didn't win that. Oh well, let's do some more attacks. Let's try and get some wins in this, because this is an absolutely retaining um, attacks, what we're trying to do here. So... Yeah. Um, obviously, we're going to attack from around here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to send out some cannon cards. Uh, we're going to send out some of the box of giants around. Uh, wall breakers around there. Come on, come on, come on. That's what we're going to do. So, send some out. We're going to send a few more out around there. Uh, we'll send another 
bomber in the middle there to do some more wall breaker damage. So go off like that. And then we'll send off the rest of the box giants with the final cannon cart and see if we can do some work. Oh, ouch. I just saw that. But, like, you can see how monstrous this ground attack is. And it's actually probably one of the best um, ground attack troops, in my opinion, to use in this game. So it does take time. Yeah, again, I said already, this, I've played it since the day one of the Night Robot launch. And you can see how much I've been progress. I've been logging on every day, just doing the free wins, and that's it. I'm going to upgrade stuff less than two days, because after the two days, this stuff I've been reset. So that's good and all, just to see. But... Yeah, gosh damn. Now I can really um, focus on getting this um, high percent now. It looks like we can get a really good high percent here as well, but I need to blow my nose because I've got a rotten nose and also I've got um, hay fever. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, I nearly forgot to activate the um, battle machine ability, so I, I sometimes forget to do that actually, which is quite embarrassing to say, I'm not going to lie, but. Like, the problem is, though, I don't know what I can do here. I probably can chuck a wall breaker then. Would it blow up a bit of the hidden Tesla? Yes, it will. That was amazing. I feel like we are going to get the win. Why is the ba... What the hell was that? The bow machine just took a random swing it did. I just saw that. No, what is it doing? I want the wall breakers. I sometimes wish the wall breakers were actually held. But why did the bow machine just do a random swing? I hope that bow machine actually... He just did it again. I'm not sure he did any damage. Oh my gosh, this battle machine's actually being silly at the moment. I don't know what's going on. But guys, we're actually going to get a free star with this. And this is actually brand new to me with this ground attack. We just got a free star. If this opponent got a free star, I'm going to cry in a minute. Oh, we got the win. And you got 70. Get wrecked. But having that free star was amazing. Also, having this um, thing is incredible. And I might do some more um, attacks with this um, troop layout. Because I've how monstrous this is. This is one monstrous... Um, attack of how because that's what you gotta do you gotta really lay out but also the amount of troops i can place plus what you're seeing at the screen it's just monstrous that you have to really take in and understand how this works and all so it's just crazy enough no there's like a lot of knowledge to understand this how it works but like gosh damn we've just done so much here and i'm gonna send off another war break around there so i wanted to dps some walls over there so we can get the cannon cards moving towards the Buddha hall or in case though we have to send off um what else but the box of giants holding off onto the um, the, ca the giant cannon for it to for the cannon. So like, well, the main one, the majority is the box of giants to take all the dam tank damage, except for the battle machines. So the battle machine can make its way through and certain stuff. But like, you can see how destructive this all is. And I hope that cannon cart. Like, look at the damage of that cannon cart doing it by itself. That is scary as hell. And I really need to think here where I should go. So I might just go from the top actually and just see. Oh, I just. I accidentally placed the wall breaker instead. I'm so stupid. Brilliant. It shouldn't have gone around the other side. Wow, I swear sometimes the battle machine just does silly attacks. Because I movement, sorry about that. But like you can just see how pathetic that was just a second ago and that was really a tame. But we are gonna go from the side. So I don't want to go down there because those cannons and double cannons can really do enough a ton of damage to my um battle machine. So I don't want to get him um <laughs> Too much um, DPS. My friends keep telling me I always um, say by the genders, which eh, I guess not. I guess whatever. I don't care anyway. Because it's a male anyway. It's been confirmed because of obvious reasons. The battle machine is a male. You can see anyway. I just grow up anyway. Um, I don't know what else he can do. Because I'm not sure if the cannon. I mean the, the cannon. Um, the cannon. So he can get onto my bomber. No, it doesn't seem like it. But the bomb's going to take out some more. It doesn't need to. Oh. Oh, I got killed by the spring trap. Are you serious? And we got another win. Yes! Okay, we need one more win while this clock tower boost is active. But I really want to try and get this final win. Oh, obviously we are attacking down here. But oh my gosh, look at that. A perfect thing's being upgraded at the moment. Oh my gosh, wow. Hold on, I need to send us some wall breakers off here because um, you can see like it's too difficult anyway for to send me some more wall breakers to go in there. That's what I wanted to do. But the problem is, this is what you've seen already is the fact that um, it's not looking too good at the moment. But now we're going to send off the cannon carts just like that, and then we're going to send off. Oh, okay, one of the bo some of the bombs have done the work. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, send some more around off there. That is how I wanted that attack to go anyway, but I'm pushing it all in. I want the cannon carts to be spread a bit more. I need to have set the box giants a bit more earlier, but they're going to do so much work down there, which is just absolutely insane. I'm sorry, I like to muck around my hair too much while doing this, but this is actually looking... Oh gosh, now it's actually looking a bit terrible at the moment. Because the... Oh, hold on. Oh my gosh, yes, look. Look at this, look at this. Can you see the cannon cart? There's so much damage. I can't exactly remember the damage per second, but yeah, it's just quite ridiculous how much they do. 
the stupid thing about Clash of Clans, and this is something I really love about Boom Beach, it, if you click on the damage per second, it actually shows you how much they do actually per second, because these troops don't actually attack every second, if you understand what I mean. For example, the Barbarians, they attack a second. Sorry, Rage Barbarians, except for the bit with their abilities. And say that, for example, I don't know, the, um... Uh, what else? The um, sneaker are just—they attack every 0.8 seconds. If I am correct, and I'm not sure if this changed that or not, but it's a true uh, thing about it. Like it, it doesn't exactly tell you what they do. It only says damage per second. That's it. But like, what is the exact damage they do? Because they don't attack every second. If you look at um, I don't know the pecker. That takes long. It takes a such a longer time in a second. Because I think it takes about 3.5 seconds. The super pecker. We'll talk about to destroy um or attack with swing. I can't remember exactly. So. You know about that. Um, all my Balshins just surviving. I was supposed to focus on that and be on the left. Oh come on, come on, come on! Just managed to take off some more buildings, and we got um, two stars, seventy-seven percent now, which is incredible. No, I didn't. Ex I actually didn't expect the Archer Tower to actually reach on to that um, bomber I just had there. But did we get the win or not? Oh no, we saw spectators, so that's interesting. Um, we've only got a minute and twelve left. A minute and twelve seconds. Sorry, I've left of this, but let's see what's going on here. Okay, this guy's talking at the border hall. Um, you don't have much left. You have a max out bar machine, so that's a bit worrying me. But we do have a cannon cut that has not lost any health, apparently. So that's going to be quite marvellous. Um, you've got 36 seconds. I've, seen, we've, I've probably shown it in the video in the past before when some people were using these sneaky archers. And then, oops, the timer ran out. And my iPad's doing its buffering. Brilliant. This is new, actually. Um, I'm going to back out and see. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's actually happened to my iPad? Seriously, what's actually happened? Oh, I've just reloaded back in. It actually seems like we got the win, actually. Oh, my day. So, we got we got the three wins in the world. So, we did an awful one. And I did. I actually kind of did practice. But then I realized, oh, sugar. But, oh, one anyway with some different troops, but well. But then, like, we lost the first one, but the last three we actually won, which is absolutely incredible. And you can see why, how monstrous this um, is. Like, look, we got these last two the exact same star and percent. The first one we did absolutely monstrous, which was absolutely incredible. So, I'm really happy with that. But, what, like, my personal opinion, guys, is that this army camp's gold, solid gold strong when you get the max level. And I know a lot of people say max level is going to take forever. It does take forever, but. Like, where it is at the moment, that's incredible. These are what I've got maxed out anyway in the night mode. Only five of the night troops. X. Yeah, that's all I've got at the moment. I'm slightly trying to love the Peko because I'm trying to upgrade something else. But I might actually do a video with um, these. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I might just wait for level 20 um, Battle Machine. I'm not too sure, really. Or if you want to see some sneaky Archer gameplay. I really haven't thought about it at the moment. But don't expect too much Clash Clans episodes. I do apologize about that as well. But hey, yo, anyway. Plus, I had fun anyway. But we are going to watch the three um, defenses we managed to stop. And let's take a look at how much we did. Now, here's the thing, though. Is that I might need to change my base layout a bit. Because you may have noticed... I've been getting two star recently with this base layout, so I might need to change it. But you may have noticed as well as like the walls, I've got like six or seven level no, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, nine level seven walls, I think. You can tell because these ones are level six and those are level seven, but that's that. We'll take a look at this. So also I just realized as well, actually, you've got a max out bow machine. But the but I feel I've just actually realised something about this level 25 bow machine. It hasn't got the flame to represent its being max level. That's actually really interestingly um, odd for me because usually though the fire, the flames, or the icon, the number highlighted in the flame represents the max level of it, which I think is incredible because in the past it used to be purple stars. I think I don't know why it was a very long time ago when Clash was being introduced. So I mainly started playing when Clan Wars got in, or it might have been a year after Clash Clans went public. I can't exactly remember, but yeah, like it seems like there wasn't much here for this guy to do. But we're just going to do transport here. So I want to try and make this around 20 minutes long and not bore you guys out. But here's some ba um, Benjamin minutes left, so he sends them off around here. Okay, I see, but then it just gets annihilated easily off right there. Now, let's see the one when you're using uh, Rage Barbarians and some bombers. And this one doesn't seem like you did a bad job with it. So, congratulations. Anyway, I'm not going to lie, but I need to blow my nose. <laughs> Apologize about that as well, actually. I'm sorry if I'm sneezing too much on my um, recording. I might cut it out a bit. I'm not too sure, but 
hay fever is just a painful thing to have in life, I'm not even lying, but oh well. But I've noticed as well, actually, you've sent off a lot of breakable events, and I know the game volume is going to be really loud, so I might turn it down a bit, but like, what is being produced right now is quite um, scary and vicious, if you understand what I mean, but at the same time though, this is actually quite of a mixed attack, but like the, the Brains of the Bones have a tough time with the Crusher, I will say that that's probably their biggest weakness against um, the fences, but like due to where I'm at the moment and like what league I am, like I'm trying my hardest anyway, but like you get to see a lot of two stars now at Builder Hall 8 with this type of sort out of layout and the levels, if you understand what I mean, because that's a bit scary, but we won that anyway, but like we need to see Jimbo, because my iPad accidentally crashed a bit, so I apologize about that, but free, we lost one, but free tax in the row, that definitely deserves a like in day studio, guys, that'd be absolutely amazing, so that's incredible, since this is an archer one, I will two times forward it, because you know these archer attacks take like the entirety of three minutes, which is absolutely painful, and yeah, we're going to make sure we don't do that again, like, like I've done some in the past, but Bloody hell, like, pissing hell, it's so long when you do these ones. It's like, now with level 16s, they, like, you get more camp, you get them more in army camps, and also when they were at first, they were broken as hell when it came to Builder Hall 7. Like, I wouldn't say Builder Hall 5, it was mainly Baby Dragons, Baby Dragons were dominating the thing at Builder Hall 5. Builder Hall 6, I can't remember, it was a bit mixed, actually. Builder Hall 7, it was mainly sneaky, you get just Baby Men to drop ships, and that's all you can think of, but now with the this new cannon part and stuff with its love by max troops it's quite scary now to see but like you can see anyway like this is actually when we managed to catch up actually like you managed to take all the left side off and then you start sending off some more on the right side including some bombers actually speaking about that that's not a bad idea actually having a campfire of um bomb a bit of a different trick like the wall breakers sorry it's called the bomber sorry it's the bomber apologize about that it's called the bomber so that's not a bad idea actually just because there's so much of them and it's going to be quite useful as well for them to do DPS because like they can't be detected by troop damage but if there's a bullet cannon or trap gone off then they will be detected by that see so, yeah, I just want to see how it works over here so oh, okay so the cannon can't probably get it in a second but oh no it's actually gonna get stuck in a second isn't it yeah but it goes up and I think this is when the timer runs out all no, it wasn't the time of the runs out, it was just all your troops dying actually, so... Wow, okay, that's quite interesting. Oh well, I don't know what to really say, but this has just been absolutely really, um, incredible and what we've just seen in the way. This is just one monstrous attack and what it's just been produced, because I feel like this game, the night mode, is probably more fun than the morning mode. That is my opinion anyway, mainly because... Um, one in the night mode you don't lose anything because you like except for spending it that's fine but when you go up and down you don't lose any loot or your loot is protected i think this is absolutely incredible another thing i'll say is that the walls are actually quite cheaper to do because they're stacked in five but it can be quite expensive but thank goodness when you get to level seven you can use elixir and you get the um upgraded wall things as well with the magic items because i don't have that much really but oh well so yeah, I don't mind that. I don't quite understand why there's none there, but it is the night mode anyway, and I understand why it's over here. But this is te the night mode, I've said this before in the beginning. This is technically Clash of Clans 2 after five years of the game, so absolutely happy with that. And also, I believe it's birthday is actually a few months later, or maybe a month later, actually, so I might do another episode of that, but I have to remember exactly what it is, because I think they're going to probably put in the event where um, you give um, active but. I'm so stupid. It says it right there. The birthday bash. Oh my gosh, guys. Speaking of the birthday, the game's coming to its birthday anniversary within a, um, a day and a half. So I will do a visual on that ASAP. Wow, that is just... Sad. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't realise that. But that's actually going to come out on the same time as this. So you might see this afterwards. I'm not too sure really what I'm going to do. But... Oh well, indeed. But like, I just complete. I was just we were just talking about the day it came global launch, and wow. Actually, speaking of which, um, the birthday um reminder comes up for the event. So I was gonna say this should do something like um the the, the um the bonus loot times eight or something like that, and in double. Like, actually, could you actually? This would be amazing. Actually, could you make your cocktail go back to where it lasted for twenty minutes just for the light set like double its um duration to doing this summer week? So I will, so that's how it began off at the beginning, and also it did 10 times speed, not 8, which I max because now, um, after 10 minutes, it does speed up 80 minutes in-game, which is just 
Okay, she used to do 10 times 10 and also was 20 minutes longer. So, yeah, but like just remembering that now, the birthday bash is coming back. So, that's absolutely incredible. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share your friends. Also, subscribe to the channel with notifications on to see all my latest videos are up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, Lewis Romance, with notifications on to see all my latest videos are up. But, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. I'm not sure if this is going to be uploaded or not on the day of the birthday, but this might be uploaded the next day because of the night mode. I'm not too sure, really. But guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have an awesome day, everyone. Take care and goodbye.